Defender Judge Karen fought for her client's rights. She was elected to the bench because she believes in doing the right thing. I'm very passionate about helping people, period. Sometimes life pulls you from up here to down here to teach you a lesson. And you're in a valley right now. And there are lessons in this valley. I hope you learn from them. Objective Independent Justice. You can always turn your life around. If you keep walking, you can overcome whatever circumstances you're facing. This is Supreme Justice. Justice with Judge Karen. You're watching Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. Veronica LaRue Alexander is suing her ex-wife Rochelle Alexander in the amount of $5,000. She says the defendant spread hurtful posts online about her regarding her decision to transition from man to woman. All right, Miss Veronica LaRue Alexander. Yes, Your Honor. You're suing Rochelle Alexander for $5,000 for emotional distress. Is that That's right? Great. Yes. Okay, what's your relationship to <clears throat> Miss Alexander? Uh, this is my ex-wife from, actually we were married for seven years. Uh-huh. And I've known we her for a total for of ten. We were together for ten years, Your Honor. We okay. Were, we dated for three and then got married. Okay. Yeah. And so what happened? Um, she went all over the social media outing no, me you're because on I, I became oh, they transgender. I told her I was transgender. Wait, well, you told her you were transgender while you were married? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and she, she broke, like she broke the vows of honor. silence but wait, but wait a second, went but, out there on the social media. But isn't that something that happens over time? It's not like one day you were transgender, right? It happened over time. That's Explain why I feel to, like it's been such a lie. It's a mental help progression. Me understand what happened. Yeah, it's a mental progression, and a lot of people actually, it's around the mid-30s is when they come to full realization. Okay. And that was during the time when we were married. Okay, so, so I, I during your mid-30s, you started feeling what? I told her, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a woman. That's my identity. You had and never said that to her before? Not specifically, no. No, I, I had told her before, you know, there's little things in the marriage, like I want to be more feminine, you know, no. let's get manicure pedicures together. Right. Never. Know. Oh. She knows the kind of music I like. And, Michael, you know. why do you lie like so that? So you've it's never gotten manicures and pedicures no. together? She constantly no. misgenders me. She refuses to call me by my name, I'm which sorry, is Veronica I have a difficult room. time. Well, I still ask where Michael is. is. Well, let me ask this question. How did y'all meet? Um, actually, at the park. Um, we were walking our dogs separately. and it's lovely. Mm -hmm. And... Um, she came up to me, started chatting. She's always been the more dominant one in the relationship, and she okay. was the one that asked me out and stuff. Okay, That's and good. prior to that time, you had always dated women? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I never had a boyfriend. You never had a boyfriend? No. And then, so, how long did you date before you got married? Oh, um, we years. dated three, three years. For three years, and it was... There was no we problem. We no. were compatible. No. We were I told her, you know, that before we got married, I told her, look, I'm bisexual. We've no. Had, I've had some Never. experiences. He did not. He said I told he her one experience, even though that, that was, he was, was really curious. Well, you just My told me, excuse me, you just told me that you had never been with a man. In, so, in a relationship, no. Oh, not in a relationship, right. but you had been with a man before you oh, married absolutely. her. Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. I'm There's sorry. no question about that. Yeah. Where are you now in the transition? I'm, I'm nine months into hormone replacement therapy on my way to um, gender reassignment surgery. And I think that and that's where this suing comes for. Why? Mm. That he needs that money. No, he started through and now, I'm not, oh, I'm not well, uh, maybe to get money from this. my former wife. So mm. what, did she do? what did she do to cause you the emotional distress? She she made she made comments on social media. If you'd like to let me see them. the comments that she made. Please. Is that you, her? Is that her Facebook page or something? Or is this yes. something more pu more public? It's very public. Yeah. I cannot believe my husband announced to me that he's now a she. Talk about confusion. I've never been so betrayed so badly. Apparently, his her yeah. name is Veronica. Betrayed. Betrayed. How embarrassing! And this is the kind of thing that should Stop be worked out in the family, not on, suffering not on social you. media. Come on. Coming up. What I is mean, the emotional distress? It's, it's all the anxiety and the hurt what? because I've received from harassment, what? phone calls from no. my family. You're watching Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. We're back with the case of Veronica LaRue Alexander, who is suing Rochelle Alexander for emotional distress. I don't see what this did to you. This. Exactly. What this did to me? Yeah, she <laughs> says, excuse me. Did, he came, he is now a she and has ruined my life and I'm embarrassed. It says more than that. What else does it say? There's threats in there. No. What threats? Better sleep with one eye open. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Okay, but you, a woman hurt. Did you really believe? Because remember, you're suing for emotional I wouldn't distress. Have even gone so, to the psychologist if it wasn't for her over these matters. What? I was not depressed at all. I was happy in the marriage. Right. But what I is mean, the emotional distress? It's it's all the anxiety and the hurt what? because I've received from harassment, what? phone calls from no. my family. I'm I've sorry, been Michael. But you know brother. that if you were preparing for this sex change, but let me then let me understand. Let me. Let, I'm if trying. You were wearing you, your wait, clothes? I need you to stop interrupting sorry. me. She, she didn't have to go about this way to do it. How you, have things changed for you? Because of her We actions. had all the same social connections and friends, right. pretty much family, and right. they just about all turned their backs on me because of the way she's handled this family You think situation. that your family turned their back on you because of the way your wife handled the news? I don't know. You think but, that's well, why they turned... You think maybe they turned your, their back on you for the same reason she did? No. Because they were used to Michael, and now there's Veronica LaRue, rightly oh. or wrongly. Right. I'm not making a judgment call right. about it. But if you spent, you how old, 40 years old? How old are you? I'm, I'm just 40. Okay, you're 40 years old and you spent 38. 38 years as a man. It's gonna be hard for most so people to get. It's a sensitive issue. It's and, a very sensitive issue. And, and let me just say this way. to you. You talk about seeing a psychiatrist. No. My understanding is that if you're gonna have sex reassignment, mm -hmm. you're supposed to go through a couple of years of psychotherapy. That's correct. Okay, so you will have been seeing a psychiatrist anyway. I would have eventually. So tell me about the emotional distress. I, I couldn't, I mean, after she did this, I couldn't, I couldn't sleep because she was going behind my back and just talking bad to me about every, to everybody I know. Right. She tried to get me fired from my job. Right. I mean, no, no, no. no. I, I don't see the emotional distress. No. There is, I'm there so is. sorry, but no. I mean, you haven't proven to me any emotional distress. No. I don't see anything, not even a statement from a doctor, nothing. Judge Karen's verdict when Supreme Justice returns. You're watching Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. What's your relationship going to be like after this? Well, when we're officially divorced. Mm -hmm. I mean, I tried to go to counseling with her. She refused. And, and there are no children, family. right? No. no, no children. Well, that's one good thing. You don't have to yeah. try to explain that to them. Well, right. Okay. Well, I hope I'll you guys can become friends. And maybe mm -hmm. you can show some compassion for what she's gone through. And maybe you can show some compassion for what she's going okay. through. I know. All right. This case is dismissed. Good luck to you both. Judge Karen has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff's claim is denied. I hope you can accept me for the woman I am. I appreciate your honesty. I really do, but I still need some time. This has been a production of Entertainment Studios.